normally meet um, crime thriller writers, but it's great. I mean, I've seen one or two legends already, you know. There are so many crime dramas that I've enjoyed this year. It's a joke. I mean, like, you know, I'm a massive, massive fan of Luther, <laughs> The Illustrious <laughs> Company, and win, lose, or draw, we're going to have a brilliant, brilliant night. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Bradley Walsh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the sixth annual Spectators ITV3 Crime Thriller Awards in conjunction with the Crime Writers Association. If you love your crime thrillers, then this is the show for you. Tonight, we are celebrating the best of this year's books, films and television shows from across the globe and inducting more crime fiction gods into our Hall of Fame. Plus, we shall salute the best new title from our crime thriller book club. What a show, folks. It really is going to be a fantastic evening. I can promise you more glitz than Strictly, more sob stories than X Factor, and more horrific misshapen bodies than Splash. <laughs> and what a year it's been. Who can forget Hathaway's resignation in Lewis, Ripley's death in Luther, and that climactic phone call in the fall where they'd heard they'd got a second series, so didn't need to think of a proper ending for the first one. <laughs> right, let's cut to the chase and get to the first award. It's the TV dagger for the best crime thriller drama. The five nominated series delivered fantastic viewing figures as a nation came together just like the old days to enjoy as a family depictions of abduction, the sex trade and homicidal maniacs under the bed. Real family viewing. <laughs> to present the award, please welcome one of our top actors. He has worked as a male model, been linked with the role of James Bond and has been described as the best looking man in Britain. We are so alike it's uncanny. <laughs> And why folks have two names when you can have three? It's Rupert Penry Jones! <laughs> Hello, Smoothie. I mustn't smudge it. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank I you. I used to be that tall. <laughs> um, is it age that's made you shrink? Just leave it, leave it. <laughs> um, so you play this detective. <laughs> also, at the same time, on the other side, on the other side, you're in silks. Yeah. How challenging, then, is it for an actor to play uh, a copper and a detective one side, and on the other side, a jockey? Because <laughs> you... you could play a jockey you're with fit. the height. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> Here are the nominations for the TV Dagger. Top of the Lake. Who authorised the session? Luther. <laughs> Not Lechley Circle. Where is that? The Fall. Broad church. Oh God, no, no, no. At the beach. <laughs> and the dagger goes to <coughs> Broad Church. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's good shot. Um, it's been an extraordinary year for crime drama, I think, by seeing all the other nominees. We just feel proud to be amongst them. So um, thank you very much for this, and, and I'd just like to accept it on behalf of every member of the team and the cast and crew on Broadchurch, because it really was a team effort. So thank you very much. It means a lot. <laughs> Welcome back to the Specsavers ITV3 Crime Thriller Award. And now, the Dagger Award to Best Supporting Actor. Here to solve the riddle of who has won this award, one of the finest code breakers from ITV's The Bletchley Circle, please welcome the gorgeous Julie Graham. <laughs> Hello.
Hello, Bradley. Hey, Julie, how are you? <laughs> Hello, darling. How are you? Oh, I'm very well, thanks. Good. Uh, what's it like to be part of such a show like the Bletchley Circle with all strong female leads? I mean, all the characters are very strong, aren't they? Well, it's all right. Um, <laughs> obviously, I'd rather be on my own. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fabulous. Yeah, I love the girls. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good show. It's a fantastic show, and we didn't win. I'm absolutely furious. Listen. Broad church, I host, winning everything. I host it. I'm livid, love. <laughs> um, look, now, listen, also, I've got a, you're working on another police series up in Shet called Shetland, is that correct? In Shetland. In Shetland. Called Shetland. Called Shetland. Yes. How fortuitous, the same name as the actual place you're filming in. I know. Did you do geography at school, darling? <laughs> Quite like that. Um, <laughs> you've got to do. I'm going to go and have some wash go, now. Go. And, uh, go and cool down. Yeah, cool down. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So the nominees for best supporting actor are Andrew Buchan for Broadchurch, Mandy Patinkin for Homeland. Lebanese. Paul McGann for a mother's son. No, not son. I love you. Roger Allen for Endeavour. <laughs> Warren Brown for Luther. <laughs> and the dagger goes to Andrew Buchan. Andrew Buckins not here, but he has sent this message. Hello. Uh, I, I generally don't win awards. I'm normally the guy clapping. So, uh, you'll forgive me if I haven't really the foggiest idea what to say. Other than thank you, I suppose. I'm so sorry I can't be there. I really wanted to be there, and I'm, I'm sorry I can't be there. But hello, Broadchurch table. Hope you're having a fantastic night. Uh, Simsy, hello, mate. Gravers. Strongly watch the wine, mate. It's formal. It's a formal occasion. <laughs> okay? So, thank you. Thank you. And now we come to the Dagger for Best Supporting Actress. Here to present the award, the man who is so good as silk scheming legal clerk Billy Lamb. He's off to Somerset House straight after these awards to buy himself another name. Watch your back, Rupert. Calling Neil Stoop. Calling Neil Stoop. You're a man in the know. How much, how much do you take in when you're working on something like Silks? Do you sort of take in all the knowledge that's, that you... Oh, you, God, yeah. Like a sponge, you know. Oh, God, yeah. Could you get me off a speeding fine? Yeah, of course I could, yeah. Good. That's <laughs> absolutely. You need a good clerk. Thanks, mate. Neil Stoop, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Hello, good evening. <laughs> Here are the nominees for the Best Supporting Actress. <laughs> Jodie Whittaker for Broadchurch. I had one job as his mum. Holly Hunter for Top of the Lake. What happened to you? Ruth Wilson for Luther. <sighs> so where did you go? Pauline Quirk for Broadchurch. Amelia Bullmore for Scott and Bailey. <laughs> and the winner is um, an actress who always demands those kind of seatbelts, Amelia Bullmore. <laughs> Amazing, uh, really amazing. Given the list of nominees, quite a list. I don't know what I'm doing in a lineup with Holly Hunter, but um, <laughs> lucky me to play Jill Murray. She's many-sided and really, really good fun to pretend to be. So, my first big thank you to Sally Wainwright for writing Scott and Bailey's script so brilliantly, and to Sally Lindsay and Saran Jones for thinking of it. And um, 
please don't tell Holly Hunter. Thank you. Welcome back to the Stocksavers Crime Thriller Awards. Our next award is the Dagger for Best Actor, and it's a tough task to decide between five compelling characters, four damaged policemen suffering from varying degrees of obsessiveness, violence and alcoholism, and treacherous Marine who has converted to Islam. You have to concede they are definite candidates for this award and possibly Kerry Katona's next husband. <laughs> Here to present the award, an actress whose Christian name means daughter of a poet and whose surname is at least 27 points in a game of Scrabble. Please welcome Dervla Kerwin. Good evening, well done. You look lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, but now, listen, both you and your husband Rupert have won these. Yes, we have. Where have you put them? Uh, I've put mine in the toilet. <laughs> and uh, to open the door as a nice oh, place. Yes, indeed. Where's Rupert put his? Um, I don't know, actually. Where have you put yours? Rupert, where's yours? In his office. Oh, in his office. Hey? There you go. In yeah, your office? Quite a place. What do you do? You're an actor. What are you doing in an office? <laughs> <laughs> what are you. Pretending to learn his lines. What are you pretending to write? <laughs> I'll let you get on. Thank you. Good luck. Good evening. And the nominees for Best Actor Dagger are... Jason Isaacs for Case Histories. Hey! You shouldn't be treating the dog right. Paddy Considine for The Suspicions of Mr. Richard. You see, Mr. David Tennant for Broadchurch. Bloody Twitter! Hey. Damian Lewis for Homeland. <laughs> Idris Elba for Luther. Joe Pesh. <laughs> and the dagger goes to David Tennant. David Tennant. Um, unfortunately. Fortunately, David can't be with us this evening. He's currently on stage in Stratford, starring in Richard II. But he has sent this message. Hello, everyone. I'm really sorry I can't be there tonight. I'm up in Stratford on stage. But um, this is fantastic. Broadchurch was just one of those very amazing experiences. Amazing because of Chris Chibnall's amazing scripts. Uh, amazing because of the production team and the actors who made it so brilliantly. But ultimately, so amazing because the British public seemed to take it to their hearts. Uh, we were all delighted and uh, thrilled, and I, I just feel very lucky to have been part of it at all. So to win a prize for it as well, um, frankly, seems a little greedy. But I am really, really chuffed. So thank you very much. And uh, I know that some of the Broadchurch gang are there tonight. Have fun, have a drink on me. And if you could get Chris Chibnall nice and drunk tonight and find out whether uh, Alec Hardy is coming back for series two, then myself and my agent would be terribly grateful. Have a fantastic night. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone in the room and you folks at home. Welcome back to part six of the Cry and the Thriller Awards. Now the prestigious dagger for best actress with five star names in the frame. Here to present the award is a singer, DJ, Golden Globe winning actor and a right clever dick, if ever there was one, it is Idris Elba! Look, I, um, before we do the script... Go. Can we make some noise for Bradley Walsh, please? Good luck, do your stuff. All right, uh, here are the nominees for Best Actress. Claire Danes for Homeland. Oh. All the best actors. Olivia Coleman for Broadchurch. He didn't kill Danny. You're like a real monkey truck. Sorry, sir. Sophie Grobel for The Killing Three. We're not going to see, so don't wait any more. Gillian Anderson for The Fall. Is it only right to sit down? 
Leslie Sharp for Scott and Bailey. Taisy, who thinks the sun shines out of your butt. And the dagger goes to Olivia Coleman. has a very rare gap between films and her other job as a night attendant on British Rail. So, <laughs> she's away at this moment, obviously, but she sends this message. Hello, um, good evening. Thank you very much for this. Um, I'm thrilled, uh, especially to be on a list with uh, those amazing women, Gillian, Leslie, Sophie, Claire. Um, it's a huge honour. Um, I'm going to have to keep this high up because my boys will try and get the dagger out of it. Um, I'm really sorry, I can't be with you. Uh, while you're all dressed up, smelling lovely, drinking nice wine, I'll be in Devon with wet socks. Um, hello to everyone on the Broadchurch table. Um, have a drink for me. Uh, love to everybody and thank you again on behalf of everyone in Broadchurch. We all feel terribly proud of it and we love it and it's, um, it's a fantastic crime thriller. So this is very appropriate. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.